we talking about? What's up, y'all? I told you my black ass would be back if you're new to my channel. This is True Feelings, and my name is Crystal. I do not do long intro, so let's just get into this video. Okay, I had to do John all by himself, because I had a bone to pick with you, John. I got a Dear John letter for John. John is dumb as shit. He really is dumb as shit, and he's an enabler. John reminds me of my ex-husband, Jeff. Them damn J's must be something, some janky shit. John has been getting that girl in trouble since day one. Since day one. Let's go back. Then he he actually made her late going to the halfway house because he was selfish and wanted to stop and get married to do a whole bunch of other shit and thought he was going to get some ass. People will do anything for ass. At least these men on these damn shows will try to do anything for ass. Even make your newly wedded wife we were late to her damn. considerably late. Did they say anything to you about it or? No, they didn't say absolutely anything to me about it. They were just glad that I made it here. That was strike one. John, this is a Dear John letter. Not only did you do that, John. John, you sat there and you called her and planned to try to uh, pick her up early on her first day out to go job searching so you could take her to a hotel and have sex. But that didn't work out. Why? Because they was following her ass. And what happened? She Now she's restricted to the damn halfway house. Oh, I'm definitely going to do some baby making. Definitely. We just have to, uh, uh, on your first furlough, maybe. Dear John Dumbass, why, why, why on earth would you put money in secret places for her to pick up on her? Every once in a work? while, when I'm up in Dubuque, I found a place to hide money for her. I'm not allowed to drop off money for Christianity. She's a new addict that you are so afraid she's going to relapse because she's in an attic area and she's living in an attic house. So why would you do that? Why would you do that? Uh, but yeah, that thought hadn't actually occurred to me. And then he going to say some dumb shit uh, just in case she needed cigarettes. I'm just trying to, you know, help her out so she can get cigarettes or whatever she needs. Can I say something? I've been in lots of rehabs in the 90s, lots in San Diego, a few halfway houses. One thing I know is that you can drop shit off to the halfway house, like cartons of cigarettes, food. They didn't allow me to have money, but if somebody wanted to drop off cigarettes, food, clothing, they drop it off at the front desk, and I get it. So you full of shit, you help that girl relapse. You There's help that girl relapse. Helping and enabling. Money's a trigger for addicts, man. I, I get you. I get you. Who's a dumb son of a bitch? And you just hurt that girl more than you helped her. How the hell would you have not known? And you fucking got out in 2008. Maybe you didn't have a drug problem, but you people, you always thinking you're going to save somebody. You can't save us when we're in our but addiction. Honestly, stashing money when she's out of the halfway house gives her the ability to make a pit stop on the way back to the halfway house if she makes it to the halfway house. Definitely not by giving us every damn thing we want and helping us break the laws and rules and shit. We need to modify our fucking behavior. That's how I end up changing. I end up going to a modified, modified behavior program is what it was called. It was there for a whole year, a whole year. Now, did people drop money off for me in secret places? Yes. Difference was, my black ass didn't want to go to jail for three years. I didn't want to go to Chai Chilla prison for three years just for getting high. So I bought cigarettes and shit with that money. She wasn't strong enough for that shit. She wasn't strong enough for that shit. Okay, let's go to the next thing that sounds dumb as fuck. So now, the mama is going to move in with him. And the sister, who's been clean for what? Two, uh, she hasn't two been in the last couple days as far as I know. But she wants to get away from that and her mom, health-wise, she wasn't doing good living with Tara and the person that she's living with. Did he say two days? Did this motherfucker say two days? First, first of all, I'm not moving any attic into my house. I don't give a shit how much I love you. I'm not going to do it. If you ain't been clean more than... No, there's no way I'd move somebody I barely know, who I know is using drugs, into my damn home. You better put mama in a sniff and uh, let the sister go, go to a fucking rehab with your wife. So I'm moving them here to the house. Okay. To your house? Yes. My son got on drugs, found out he was on cocaine. He's currently locked up right now. You know what I did when I found out? 
got to fuck out, but I didn't put him out. Put him out. His choice was rehab. You go to the rehab. We got you. We will take care of you. He did that. He did that, and he did good for about two or three months till he ran into somebody and then start straddling the fence again. And where his ass at now? Doing 22 years in fucking prison for robbing dispensaries. That's where he's at right now. We all know that she's back in jail. They say she went back in jail in, like, I think December. Um, but I'm seeing little scenes where he may be helping her escape, and he would. He would help her escape. He's that type of person. My ex-husband, Jeff, was that same type of person. I had to go to a 28-day program because I had OD because I used to shoot in my neck something I said I would never do. Um, and I shot some dope in my neck, and I fucking od End up waking up going into a, at the military hospital they end up making me go to a uh to a program i told my ex-husband then i ain't staying unless you bring me some dope he wanted me to stay so he brought me the dope he brought me the dope i could have ruined this man's career being such a selfish son of a bitch which i was i was a real asshole back then y'all a real asshole i say that to say he is not helping her he's never going to be able to help her um and i guess if she locked up is he still gonna stay married to her and take care of her now that he can't get because he was really working hard just to get some ass just getting her in trouble and shit so john what I say to you is, you're full of shit, and you're no help to this girl. And that's all I got to say about you, John. I wanted to do your ass by yourself, and I hope you do see this shit. Don't be an asshole. Bye. But that's really messed up.